Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our Django series. So, where we left off last time was we were sitting here and we had things coming out to the screen. Let me see if I turn the server off. Did not. Let's shut that down. All right. Uh, control C. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we had this situation, and if you were anything like me, you're like, all right, I got stuff to come out to the screen, but that was just the title. What happens if I had a whole page? And then the last video we did with this, we learned about the templates uh, folder. So we're actually going to be working with this, and these are associated. And we're going to then also be using this render. So let's go ahead and peek at what render does. All right, Oop, wrong one. So here. All right, brings in the request, combines a given template with a given context dictionary, and returns an HTTP request. So this is very similar to. So here's the response. So this is going to handle this for us. Now a little bit of a pop quiz. Why did this work? I was waiting for somebody to say, "Hey, why did we leave?" Why did we leave this and it not cause a problem? Well, I want you to remember, a little bit of a reminder, that when you have return, all code after that is dead. So that's why this works. But this will not work in this situation. So we need to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to use our render. All right. And then let me make sure. So, whoops return render now what this is is it takes in the request so we're passing this in request and then we need to have a template we haven't done that yet but we're about to create one and it's going to be now this is what you pass in as the string poll what are we we're going to call it poll dot html all right, now we need to hurry up and then make this. And the way where you put this is you put it template. Hmm, we just did this last time. So we're going to now make a, let's get into our templates folder, new folder, and what we just name it? Poll.html. All right, boom. We already go into it. Now, last time we had, oh, we've already deleted it. Uh, this, that when it, it went as, in as a string, the HTML code just goes in just like this. So now, if I want to show you this, we got two that are red. So you can come up here and hit save. So now, now let's get this going. See if we can see our local local polls. Boom! Looks the exact same, but I'll show it to you. Let's let's misspell this. All right, save, refresh, boom! Just like that. So this is the building block. This is how we do it, and this because then now we have a place to build an HTML page and pages. And then we just go from there. And then these get assigned and we're gonna work on this. But ours, ours is gonna be pretty self-explanatory. But one thing, I read a comment and I wanna make sure we clarify this. Django is for the back end, the server, how to handle all the input, all right? It handles the database, it handles the admin, it handles the steps, just like how this went. What does it do? What steps does it look through? It, the HTML is the pages. And I think I read somewhere, did somebody think uh, scraping? No, Django is building, it's the like the frame. It's the frame of the house and the HTML and the more sophisticated you get, 
is the appearance of the house. That's it's the structure, it's the backbone. So that that's what I want to make sure. Let's fix this. That's giving me. I can't spell and that's driving me nuts. All right. Save that. Redo that. There we go. So all right, real quick video today. So as always, please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests down below, and I'll get right to them. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't, check out this video right here or this one right down here. And most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.